everyone, welcome back. So today, as you can tell from the title, I'll be trying the TikTok trend latte makeup. I've just gathered a lot of stuff, but the main palette I'm gonna use for this video, which is absolutely perfect, it's the I Heart Revolution Tasty Latte Palette. As for the other products I'll be trying out, I'll be doing a lot of makeup revisits. There's some new products in here as well, which I'll be going back to. So if you're not sure what the latte makeup trend is, it's just basically a really bronzed, warm makeup look. I've also seen this look on a lot of tanned people, so I wanna see what it would look like on pale skin like me. This is looking very grubby, but I'm excited to go back into this palette because this palette is full of the warm neutrals. It's got like pops of berry in there, which is really nice. I got a new product. So maybe I Mitchell did a collab with Holly recently and there was a shade called My Darling, which looks absolutely stunning on the lips and on the cheeks. So I had to go and get that. So yeah, if you're interested to see my take on the Latin makeup, then make sure you're watching and subscribe. And yeah, without further ado, let's go. I'm going to start off with some skincare. I'm going to use the I Heart Revolution Water Myelin Dewy Drops. This is like a serum. I'm excited to go with some neutrals. I did do my brows off camera just to get out of the way because my brows are nothing special. Um, I did do a lot to them. I used the Revolution Honey Brow Jam, which looks like this. Then I went into my NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen in the shade Blonde. And I'm really liking this brow colour at the minute with my light hair. I've had to like down a shade. So yeah, I've been liking this. So let's get into some warm neutrals. This is the Tasty Latte I Heart Revolution palette and it's gorgeous. You've got your nice berry mattes in here. You've got your caramel shimmers. I'm just going to prime my eyes. I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Eye Base. I've also got these Revolution eyeshadow mousse to try again. I've got the shade Amber Bronze, which Looks like this. I'm just hoping these are not gonna be like a wash of colour. Um, I don't know whether to put these under my eyeshadow or on top. Let's see what they look like on top on one eye. And if we make a mistake, which we've got another eye to get with. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Pumpkin Spice. I'm just gonna throw that everywhere into the crease. I'm not gonna be precise with this shade. I just want something down. Okay, next shade I'm gonna go into is Amaretti. This shade here, it's like a peachy nude. I don't know why, but I do find neutrals quite difficult to work with. The next shade I'm gonna go into is Milky, which is this creamy milky shade. I don't know how else to describe it, but I'm just gonna place that on the edges. Right, I'm going to test out this eyeshadow mousse shadow. I'm going to go into a flat brush. I think I'm just going to lay it on top. See what it looks like. I just hope it doesn't break down the eyeshadow mat underneath. Okay, that's kind of cute. I'm going to lay a shimmer on top. You see with these eyeshadow mousses, I'm literally just trying it out for the video, but I don't think I'm going to get much use out of this outside doing YouTube. I don't know if this is the product for me. I'd rather just whack on a shimmer. Um, but yeah, they do feel quite sl s slick on the skin. They're very slicky, if that's even a word. I'm thinking of going Ice Honey. This looks like the perfect bronze shimmer for this type of look. So I'm going to go use my same brush again. I don't know where this is from. It doesn't say. And I'm just going to build the shimmer just on top. I mean, very pointless of using that eyeshadow mousse, but I feel like this is just more effective for what I want. The eyeshadow mousses I find are like a wash of color. They're not as pigmented as how I'd like it. I'm also gonna bring that shadow, what I used at the start, Pumpkin Spice, and just bring it to the bridge of my nose a bit, just to add a bit of a contour. A bit crazy that is. Blend it out. I'm gonna add a brow highlight. Um, I'm thinking of going into Creme de la, Creme de la, butchering these names, I tell you. I'm gonna put this just where the brow is, under the brow. I wish it was more champagne-y, now thinking about it, so I may go into a highlighter. I was thinking of going my I Heart Revolution Party Pets highlighter. Put that in, in a corner, which is more champagne-y. Yes, I like that. I don't have a brown eyeliner pencil, so I am going to go in my Made by Mitchell The Essentials colour case and I'm going to pick 
you know what, this would have been perfect for the eye look, wouldn't it? But this is Latte on it, so I had to use that. I think I want to go a bit darker, so I'm going to go in the shade Tasty, Toasty next to it. I haven't dipped into this yet, so this is a good excuse to go into it. An update, I've ordered my Swirl Solution for this colour case and I'm so excited to use it. So I'm going to be doing an update video of me using this colour case with the Swirl Solution because I've been having struggle with it, like blending, contours and stuff. So for my liquid liner, I'm going to use my Poundland Eye Pro Liquid Liner in the shade Brown. I just had to go over my liner a bit with the toast with the richier shade from Me by Mitchell. Um, I just feel like this is more pigmented than the Poundland one. Primer today, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Cotton Candy Foaming Makeup Primer. So for my foundations today, I'm going to mix the Catrice Cosmetics True Skin Hydrating Foundation in shade Neutral Porcelain. Then I have the Be Perfect Chroma Cover Luminous Foundation in the shade N3, I think it is. Then I've got the Be Perfect Akinsu Radiant Glow. Apparently, Akinsu is going to do another collab with Be Perfect 2.0, so I'm looking forward to that. Concealers, I'm gonna go in the HMB Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer in the shade SF1W. I do find this is a bit too dark, so I'm gonna go over it to brighten it with the e.l.f. Hydro Caramel Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. So contour today, I'm gonna to use the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkiss Glow Bronzer in the shade Fair. And I have not been in this in a hot minute, so I'm just gonna Oh, my cheekbones. This is quite neutral leaning, so I'm gonna go over with a bronzer just to get that warm look. Okay, I am gonna set under my eyes. I'm gonna use the Banana Dreams Powder by W7. And it is quite yellow leaning, which makes me think, is this a bit too warm for me? Probably, but I'm gonna use it. Okay, what I'm excited about is this blush. So I got the Made by Mitchell Holly Club, but I've got the shade My Darling. This looks beautiful. I'm gonna mix it into my hand first and then go in with a brush. I'm gonna use his MF4 brush. That is so pretty, I love that. That is such a nice shade of pink. Kind of wish I went with a more of an orange tone, but I really wanted to try out this new product. Yeah, very happy with that. I am going to go over with some bronzer. I'm revisiting this. This is the Revolution Finding Nemo palette. A very broken highlighter in here, which is so annoying. It keeps like crumbling up. I don't like this shade of highlighter next to this bronzer. It is too light. Um, I wish it was more of a champagne-y colour. Either way, I'm not using that today. I'm going to go into this bronzer. This is super pigmented, so I'm going to take it on my brush and then I'm going to wipe it on my hand. Just go in that way. Just warm up my face. Like, that is super warm. <laughs> um, probably too dark for me, but it's okay. I can get away with it in the summer, I reckon. Looks lovely with that blush, though. This is new to my collection, I'm gonna revisit it. This is the NYX Barbie collab. This is the Greetings from Barbie Land. And I'm gonna go in a bit with the blush in here and I'm gonna use the highlighter from here as well. So I'm gonna use a bit of this. Just adds a bit of coralness to the look. Yeah. I feel like I needed this shade the most for this type of look. Okay, I'm just gonna use the iHeart Revolution Primark collab Watermelon Glow and Fixing Spray and then I'm gonna go in and highlight it. Okay, let's go in this Barbie highlighter. I feel like I don't need it at the minute because that glowing spray does wonders. These pans are so tiny, but honestly, this collection was pretty cute. I'm um, not gonna lie, I don't have anything small in my makeup collection like this, so it's very different, I'd say. Yeah, love this highlighter. For a bronzy glow. Yes, now for the lips, the hard heart. I may go with that bit of that blush on my lips, the Made by Mitchell one. So for my lip liner, I'm going to go in the Peaches and Cream Proline Lip Liner. Let me sharpen.
I do have the e.l.f. I Heart Revolution lip gloss in the shade Best Coffee as we're on the latte subject. <laughs> Let's put this on. Then I may go over it with a bit of this My Darling. I want to use a brush with this. I never go in with a brush. I feel like a brushed lip would look quite nice. Oh yeah. Okay, I quite like that. Okay, I'm just going to touch up a bit with some powder. This is the Powland powder. The lid has broken off, which is annoying. So I'm just going to go over this bit. Okay. Oily. I'm just going with the L'Oreal Back to Bronze and just bronze that bridge of my nose. I'm gonna add some lashes to this look. So I'm just gonna use my Revolution Game of Thrones mascara. I'm so excited, like the post just came and my Creamfields ticket has arrived. I'm so excited. I'm gonna leave the bottom lash with no mascara. Okay, I'm just gonna finish off with my last product. This is the Ghost Highlighter. It came with a gift set I got from one of my friends for Christmas. And I'm just going to put it a bit into the highlighter because I obviously don't have enough, so. So guys, here's the completely look. Here's my take on the TikTok trending latte makeup. I love this and I love this palette, especially for this type of makeup look. If you love neutrals, warm caramel browns eye, then you're gonna like this palette because it really doesn't disappoint. The shimmers in here are beautiful. I think I made my mind up on these eyeshadow mousse shadows. They just don't do much for me. They don't have the type of pigment that I want for a cream eyeshadow. Well, mousse eyeshadow in this case. I just think it's too much of a wash of colour for me, so this is not the right product for me per se, but for you it might work if you like that type of delicate makeup. Um, I just rather go into a eyeshadow palette to put some shimmer on. I think this is my favourite thing I've tried out with the whole makeup look. This is the blush made by Mitchell, my darling shade. This is the collab with Holly. This is stunning. It's beautiful on the lips as well. You can just see it just peeking through a bit. I feel like I don't have enough on my cheeks. Um, <laughs> it just makes me want to apply more. It was nice to revisit this again. This highlighter is beautiful for this type of look. The NYX Barbie Club Greetings from Barbie Land palette. That middle highlighter is stunning. I don't often go into these type of tone highlighters, but when I do a, this type of warm look, these are my go-to highlighters, these tones. You know what? It was really cute to go back into this. This is the I Heart Revolution e.l.f lip gloss in the shade best coffee very suitable and appropriate for this video um yeah i really like this lip gloss it's non-sticky very comfortable and it gives you a nice nice warm nude lip and i thought this was a really good bronzer to go into this makeup look it's very on the warm side this bronzer um so i did have to like wipe a lot off my arm you probably can say i think it looks nice and it's great for summer just a shame about that highlighter in the palette. They're the products that I'm gonna give a shout out in this video. As for the rest, I feel like they performed really nice. I've, my miss in this video is definitely these eyeshadow mousses. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and this latte makeup. Do let me know, have you seen this trending on TikTok? And what are your thoughts on it? My last trending TikTok makeup video, I think it was the Corquette makeup look or the Call Girl makeup look, I can't remember. But yeah, I just find it fun to gather all my makeup together and just see what's appropriate for that themed makeup look. And this palette was definitely perfect for that. But yeah, that concludes my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think of this makeup look down below. And yeah, if you did get as far in the video, do you comment in a, a latte emoji so I know you've watched it. If you want to see more makeup looks on my channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below just the red button and yeah if you'd like to join my makeup patreon group as well that's also in the description box but yeah I hope you have a lovely day now every time watching this and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!